video was filmed in 2019. I'm re-uploading it due to a copyright claim. We start the day with a visit to Stevenson Falls. Stevenson Falls is 84 meters tall, located in the town of Marysville. I've previously filmed with my drone here before, so feel free to watch that video. The best time to visit Stevenson Falls would be in the morning on a weekday, because that's how you avoid the crowds. Later that night, we watched the firework display over Lake Eildon following the boating and fishing show. I have also filmed drone videos here before, so you're welcome to check those out as well. The next day, we visited the Cathedral Ranges and we saw a lyrebird along the way. We decided to climb to Sugarloaf Peak. We walked along the canyon track, which involves steep rocky terrain with some challenging rock climbing. Experience climbing in rugged conditions and a good level of fitness is required. The degree of difficulty was listed as hard. The track might seem relatively easy at first, but it gets more difficult the further along you go. I was thinking maybe I should fly my drone here one day, but I haven't returned since we filmed this video because it was so difficult. And then again, the views from my drone might not be that different to the video I filmed in Buxton with my drone, where you can actually see the cathedral ranges in the background. You don't even necessarily need to climb all the way to the top to get some pretty nice views. The emergency services get a lot of calls from people getting stuck up here because it's not an easy track to follow. While we were climbing these rocks, I was surprised to see a couple with a dog trying to get to the top. The dog was a little bit scared, but they gave him a piggyback and he made it to the top. I would definitely not consider taking Minyip to Sugarloaf Peak because she'd be too scared, it would be very risky and dangerous and she would just not enjoy the experience. And for those who don't know, Minyip is our pet bird and she comes with us on adventures in her little birdie backpack. Once you get to the top, the views from Sugarloaf Peak are absolutely amazing, but in the distance you can see all the dead trees from the 2009 Black Saturday bushfires. Our neighbour told me that the fires came very close to home before we lived here. The woman who owned this house at the time was not home when the bushfires were happening and was told that everything had burned down and there was nothing left. That was until she saw the live helicopter feed from Nine News and saw her house was actually still there. Everything around the house was touched by the fires, but her house and garden were spared. That's pretty amazing to think about. There are still scars to this day from the fires that happened in 2009. There is a fence post here that was almost completely burnt to a crisp and it's still here to this day. And as you can see here, the dead trees still remain, but they do provide good little homes for the king parrots. Overall, if you know the area fairly well, this might be a good track for you, especially if you want to see the views from Sugarloaf Peak, but just be aware that it is difficult and you need to remember which track you're on. That's how people ended up getting lost. With all that being said, that brings me to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and subscribe to see more. Bye!